Hi, I'm Robert Force, and welcome to the beautiful Puget Sound. Uh, I'm here guesting on Steve Yulberg's uh, Dulcimer Crossing, is it called? The Dulcimer Crossing Show. And he's asked me to talk about a few topics. And the first one is, for the last 50 years or more, uh, I've played the traditional diatonic instrument. Yes, mine has a six strings on it, and this was called the church dulcimer back then, and it had a little fuller sound. But you'll notice that the stringing is essentially the two strings, and call it one and one, a regular four-string dulcimer, equally spaced. But there is no extra fret, so here we would normally find a six and a half fret. So it really wasn't until probably the very early 70s that people began sneaking in this extra fret. And uh, I'd already learned to play it without the extra fret, and it always confused me. Because if I needed an extra fret, this note here, I could find that note here. And so the note that is missing in that D scale is actually right here. And so if I need that extra note, I can go get it. Or I can also just come behind that note and bend it a little bit. Sure, that takes a little practice. But if you're desperate for the note and you know what the note is and you go for it, that's how you get it. So my uh, predilection, I guess, or my penchants for playing the, the diatonic instrument is that I really am sort of a Pythagorean theorist. Now what does that actually mean? It means that there is a melodic sequence to the dulcimer, the white keys on a piano, that means that you can play it all day long without making a mistake. So you'll find that the same association, you're always going to hear, those of you that are studying chords, go to the one, go to the four, go to the five. Well, these are the fundamental divisions of that one chord. Cut it in half, there's your octave. Cut it in thirds, that's your quint or your fifth. Cut it in fourths, and there's your subdominant. And I found that when I was playing the instrument, that extra notes got in my way because they were outside of the key that I would wanted to play. And if I was playing in D or I was playing in G, it doesn't matter. If I was playing E, E minor, as soon as I heard that other note, because I do a lot of sliding, 